All right, the map is Rivertown Advance, and these are the bonuses, two, 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 three, three, four, three, five, three, five, three, and four, and we're the blue player third in the turn order. And this blizzard makes it into a one, two point hold for this plus fours, not terrible. These two blizzards don't do much. This blizzard makes it into a one point hold for this plus two, but this over here in this map is a natural one point hold if you clear out this, 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 and this for uh, all that corner plus four. That's like a noob corner kind of thing. It's not bad. Kind of like baity if you see it. This uh, this was right here. This was right here. Don't make this any easier to hold, although perhaps a bit easier to clear out less territories to go through. And that's about it for the blizzards. So we, I've actually got a lot over here, but purple's got five there and they didn't move out. I didn't see where purple went. Um, this is a one, two point hold for plus four with only five troops in my way. This is a one, two point hold for plus four with six troops in my way. Here I have four, six, nine troops. Here I have three, four, five troops. So I'm stronger here and it's less to go through. So this is a better choice, though. Purple probably won't appreciate me going for it, but it's kind of a good choice for us here. This three doesn't really go through there easily. I could stack in here and go for this and I could try to grab this plus three. Uh, I got three here. I could hit here. Hopefully it's not much. This four's pin did not do much. I feel like going for this bonus in the middle and hoping to get away with it is not a terrible play for us here. Get nobody there apart from one troop. If I can hold this, it's actually not bad for us. Hopefully nobody breaks us. Um, let's fortify... I think I really want to fortify around here and call that good. If we're lucky, we can hold that. I can use those troops, use those troops to finance elsewhere. I just need to hope that purple doesn't get it. Purple, hopefully, I mean, they, they can see my four. They can see my three. They're next to me. I, hopefully they don't want to go for this. I don't see any reason why red would want to attack in here and go for it unless they're trying to get an easy card. There's an easier card for them to get up there. So, unless they think I have this right. Now, red might want to stack here and try to break this because they want it or don't want me to have it. That's a possibility. But, uh... Yeah, we stacked, uh, what, four troops here? To get? If we hold this for, like, two turns, it's it's well worth the investment. Also, waiting a turn before I go for this or this to give people a chance to do things could be useful. See what people are up to before I start making moves. Also occurs to me I can hold this bonus and this bonus on a one, two, three point hold for plus seven. It's not a terrible start for us. Like, I could work with that. Magenta, I would... Magenta is not terribly... Not terrible for this, actually. It's a one, two point hold, four in their way. It's not a terrible play for them. Maybe they're going for this over here, or this over here, or this down here. A lot of things we don't have vision on. But I think, uh, do I try and grab this next turn? Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I could stack... Oh, Magenta, what you doing? Attacking over there. So maybe you're going for this? You're going for this! Or you just want vision. Or maybe they like to tack out a bunch to get more vi I think this kind of person who just wants vision on the board. We lost one troop there, it's not a big deal. They'll see I have four here, maybe they want to fight me for it. I think they're just like looking around the board, finding what to go for. If they go for this, it's not that big of a deal. This was my best, like this and this are my best play right here. This would be nice to go for. Purple has six troops, which means they either tacked out a bunch of territories or they grabbed a, uh, they might have grabbed a plus two here or plus two here. Hopefully they don't stack these here and fight me for this. That'd be not great for me. Prefer they don't do that. And yeah, I, I think this we want a one, two, three point hold on plus seven, two, four, six, eight territories. Doesn't really give us much of a troop bonus for territories, but it is um, uh, three point hold plus seven is not bad. And then we, ex we can ex push out. I mean, if nobody's going for this, we could eventually grab this one too and have a one, two, or three bonuses on a one, two, three. Four point hold, they tacked out fantastic. See, and there's the value of waiting. We went for this, purple tags out, and they, they don't fortify that out, but now we have uh, an easier job of grabbing this. Red might break me here. In fact, the fact they're stacking three there means they, I, I imagine they're breaking me, right? No, they tacked out, wait. They bought it out. That's both good and bad for me. Oh, they, all right, they tacked over there. That's both good and bad for me. The good thing is, I don't have to worry about Red strategically, intentionally trying to break me, but uh, the bad thing is, uh, I have to worry about the bot randomly doing crazy things. All right, so what I can do here is... Hmm. Uh, the bot hopefully won't stack here and try to break me. Um, how, how do I, that 4v1 hits there. Do 6 to... 4v1 hit there. This hits here. Fortify this over. And then protect a little bit stronger against the bot. And protect a little stronger over here. And we go ahead and hit this. Lost none. Didn't need to do that weird stacking situation. Go ahead and hit this. And fortify... Oh... I'm going to fortify over here. If the bot... 
or purple decides to break me. I don't want to leave like four here and four here and have purple get six troops stacking here, taking eight before and break me. I lose four troops and the bonus. I'd rather have them go around and break me here or have the bot break me here and I only lose two troops in the bonus because I'm not strong enough to hold both these right now. Okay, the yellow player is over there. Please don't attack my seven. You, okay, so the yellow player's over here and they, ha they had this bonus last turn. Okay, so I have to worry about them. All right, and they're gonna have a one point hold there and they're gonna keep stacking strong over there. So, questions, can I do a trust exercise with them? Can we trust them? It's a big if. And I'm not sure I want to keep matching them. I could do, I could try doing a trust exercise with them for a single turn, like, have this move back, leave a two, like, leave two or three, see if they break it or not, you know? They, don't even, they might not even know their habits, though they probably figured out. Magenta starts with six. Seems like everybody has bonuses right now for the most part. So where'd Magenta be for six? Here, we saw Magenta tacking around over here, so yeah, Magenta has this, and they were, like, getting vision of the board. I think Magenta's got this. Yellow's here, Magenta's here, the bot is just probably scattered all over the place. You've got three, so you don't have a bonus yet, so purple and red don't have a bonus, so... Yellow, Magenta, me, uh, bot, unfortunately, is attacking around here. Um, and purple attacked over there. Did you bot out? You bot it out. I wonder why. Alright, not sure why purple and red bot it out. Um... Uh, and unfortunately, it seems like the bots are playing around where I want to go next. Here's the thing. I'm splitting the board. Here's the thing. If yellow's here, magenta is just going to get this, push out into this, while I'm fighting the bots over here and yellow over here. So, what do I do about this? I don't like that yellow's on the far side of the board. Like, yellow and magenta couldn't be farther away from each other, and I'm... If I go for this right here, I'm right in the middle of them. Do I just fight, do I just mess up yellow early and then go for magenta or do I go break magenta and be friendly with yellow? I don't know. Hmm. I think we stack one here and then we go do some snoop in. We, like magenta cannot have free reign over here. It just can't be a thing. Okay, um, did the bot break them? Let's get some vision over here. The, magenta's not over here. Magenta must be over somewhere else. All right, fine. Well, we, you know, let's go ahead and maybe let's we'll discourage. The, maybe we can like scare the bot out of here. Okay, purple's over here. Purple's also a bot. Let's just chill out there for now, and then uh, call that uh, good for our turn. It's a it's a risk. I really thought Magenta was over there. I guess I was completely wrong. Magenta's either here or in here. Okay, but that was good, now we know. And the reason I attacked out a, a bit more times is so hopefully I can hang on to a few more territories and get more of a territorial bonus. Maybe I could have attacked here as well, but I figured the you know, purple bot's just gonna hit that, right? You're probably gonna hit my seven and break me. If we lose this, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, you're gonna hit my... No, you don't. You go up this way. Okay. Yellow wants to be good neighbor. I'm okay with uh, being good neighbor. Maybe they saw my, uh, you know, my 11 troops and don't want to antagonize me, right? Or they might not even know that I have this yet. Or, you know, hitting my... They didn't want to attack a 7. Didn't decide it was worth it. So, Magenta's either here or here. Okay. Which means I could maybe pivot to the side of the board. And then let the bots... That's not a terrible idea. Take my 11 troops next turn. Uh, stack here. Bam, bam. We've got this. Fortify that 5 back to here or here. And we start working on... We've got this plus 5 over here. 5 for Magenta. I feel like you had uh, more last time, right? Like six. So maybe you lost a bonus, or maybe just you had a plus two and you lost a territory somewhere. But now we know Magenta's not over here. The question is, oh, you're attacking over here. You're trying, you're trying to get a card somewhere. Okay, you didn't bot out, did you? No, you're still a player. All right. So this that's why it's good to explore. I just thought Magenta was there because I saw them attacking right here. They had a one here, they had one here, they're attacking down here. They're just snooping the area. I can also go for this. This is a two point hold as well, but let this bot attack out a bit first. I think go for this. Uh, red's a bot, yellow's a player, get yellow's vision out of this board gone, right? Hmm, but then if I, if yellow's, you uh, mean, if yellow finds out I grab this, probably okay. Purple trades in here, because there are bots, right? The bot stacks over there. Um, I, if I can hold these for another turn, that'd be great. I need the, I need the red bot to not card trade in three and break this or this. Um, bot attacks around here, probably can attack down here. No, attack up that way, because... Yo, that's huge! They lost three! That means they soften up something up there. Okay, the bot's softening up things in a way that works for me. That's great value. Love that for us. Plus three for the bot, because... Please don't card trade in three. 
Um, oh, that's gonna be a broke. That's gonna break my plus four. Probably it's unlucky, but we'll still have my, th these over here. So I'll oh get lucky and attacked out that way. Huge value. And you attacked over there. Oh, it's turn. Oh, they, 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 it's just turning up CG. <laughs> the pot's just leaving for him. You're still a bot, right? Yeah. All right. All right. That's great for us. Um, so what I can do is I can only put. I can just put like six here is probably fine to block that. Maybe that right there. And then do I just push? The, you know, let's just go a little bit greed here. Uh, yellow and magenta are the ones I don't want to like see what I'm doing over here. So if we just do this, you don't see that. And then go over here and do some damage. And do I? Hmm. That's still a fair number of troops that you guys have. That I don't really want to deal with actually just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fortify the bots. Get a card trade. I'm going to fortify this down here just for safety. Let these bots fight each other up here in a little bit. They might attack my territory. So there's a two here. There's two here. There could be something big back there. There could be yellow or magenta back there. Let's just chill out. Be happy with this bonus. You had six troops, so you're still just over here. The fact that red and purple bot out really changes things up. If you break me and hit my seven at this point, it's not the end of the world, because I've just, you know, I've got a plus four over here. That's fine. And you are debating, do you want to hit me and break me? But now we've, uh, we've repositioned, we've used these troops to fuel conquest over here. We're moving to a vacant side of the board away from the conflict and hopefully eventually away from the bots. Let yellow magenta fight each other and or let yellow magenta fight the bots while I gain this and then I gain this. And then I have a, you know, I push through and have a, you know, one, two, three point hold on, you know, a quarter of the board and then work on either this or this five for you. That means if magenta's getting plus five, they don't have this. So magenta's got to be in this. Magenta's in this corner somewhere here or here. And they're fortifying up their defenses there. And they're stacking here, hoping to get a quick card. You need bot outs. Okay, Magenta bought it out, so it's myself and yellow. Okay. Unless, people can come back from being bot sometimes, you know, problems, sometimes the bathroom break, but or maybe just yellow broke them, maybe the bot broke them. So right now it's myself, three bots, and yellow. And we need to make sure that we still win this, because yellow's a player who's got a nice one point hold, and the bots... I've you've I've had plenty of videos where like I'm doing great. I've got a really strong advantage and all of a sudden this bot card trait slams me and then that bot card trait slams me <laughs> and then the remaining human player slams me as well and all of a sudden ooh, it's rough times. So we still gotta be careful I can hit my three this time. Lucky again. Lucky again. Lucky again. Ooh, lucky again. Just the boss just keep not breaking my uh three there. I could put a couple more there to make it a little bit safer. Although bots get card trait. That's huge for us right now. It's huge. I'm going just just a little bit more defense there. Why not? But uh, it may be you know, down here actually. Don't trust that. That bot's gonna card trade in five, right? Let's go ahead and try and grab this while we're at it. Just kind of keep swinging the momentum. Actually, move it all over there because it connects there as well. We we'll leave three over there. We'll hit this over to here. Might as well hit this over here, and we can call that go wait. If I push this out of here, I don't think that connects anything back there. Maybe I can hit this? Get it, get it, get it. Nice. And now, it, it occurs to me because of that blizzard up there. I've got a one, two, three point hold. Now, sevens don't hold well. This guy could card trade. Stack right here. Break it. Come here. Break this. Break this. Uh, wouldn't be strong enough to break this, I'd imagine, but they could break it. Or they can go over here and break This guy can break three of my bonuses here. He can go here, here, break that. Uh, my, a few more troops here goes through to hit this, hit this, breaks me, hits this, breaks me. And then the rest over here with the card trade hits this to break me, hits this, hits this, breaks me. I'd still hold this and maybe this, to, depending on how much it puts here. Instead, they don't. Okay, smart move, smart move. That's a good play in Yellow's part to break me out of there. They should have done that sooner. Luckily, they did not. The only reason I'm doing this well is because Yellow, like, f as soon as I had this, Yellow could have immediately broken me, either here or here, but they just didn't. Luckily for me, they did not, so that's fine. We're less concerned about losing this than this. We're just luckily we held as long as we did. Instead, we're going to start working on this over here, because I can push us uh, our trade in for the bot. I can hit here, 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 and then fortify back out to here. Gives me more territories. Um uh what do we got? I've actually got a one, two, three point out all this. And then once we get this, eventually, if we do, I mean, eventually, the the, the map is designed where you can have a, a one point uh, hold on half the map. 
we're just working towards that and it's going kind of faster because of a little help from the blizzards. It's nice. It occurs to me now that even without the blizzard, this is a one, two point hold for this bonus because of, uh, without, even without the blizzards, one, two point hold for this bonus right there. All right, bot attack now. Make it a little bit easier for us to get that. Pushing right away from there is good. That means the bot's not going to card trade and slap it all right there to hit my seven. That's nice. Did anybody come back from being a bot? So far, no, it's still three bots. So it's a 1v1 with me and yell and bots. And the bot's probably going to hit this at this point. Surely. Attack down there. Now, okay, okay. All right, so this is what I mean about you have an, a really powerful position, but things can turn around. And frankly, I just got lucky that the bots never hit me earlier. They easily could have. And uh, I got lucky yellow didn't wise up to hit me sooner. They easily could have. But now we've lost those two bonuses. We're still in a very, very strong position. Plus 14 is still good. Car train five. We will take that. Lovely. And purple could have a car trade on three. I mean, yellow's going to car trade, so car trade of 15. Yeah, you could have a car trade of 15, so purple could actually put a lot down there, actually. Um, so I'm actually kind of worried about that. Um, well, if they, if they do put a lot down there, I'd rather them break a small number than a big number, right? Because they could put like 20 down there. So I'm going to go here. We're going to hit up here like this. And really uh, four down here to over here just just in case I can hold this right go ahead and hit you guys out of here pay attention to the timer um hit this hit this fortify actually no I should have tacked one more time whoops I should have tacked this nine onto here and fortify this over here well no because I'm vulnerable back through here I still need to hold this um but uh, I imagine this gets broken okay you card trade as well I'm not worried about that um yeah force card trade anyway so 12 You'll get a card trade of 15 if purple card... That's if purple has a card trade on 3. Um, if purple doesn't have a card trade on 3, then I should have fortified this more. I say I want to put down a bunch here. You have you a card trade on 3 for 15. You're holding this, and you get 8 from that. It's 23. You stack 23 there, and your 31 slaps like a, uh, a 25 stack of mine, and then I'm all of a sudden possibly going to lose, right? I'll just risk losing the 7 there. There's a world I could have fortified some way over there, but I need to fortify the stuff in here back to here. You can only fortify once per turn. Yellow is attacking a bunch right now. They're probably cleaning out this corner, I imagine. Trying to go for elimination. They, I've probably fed the elimination on Magenta to them. I should have killed Guard Dimension back there. I'm fine with that. It's only two cards. And I think I'm... Troop-wise, I think I've got an, a bit of a head start on Yellow because I had like that one turn where I had like 21 troops, something, right? Well, I've been attacking a lot. But I gotta be careful. If, if Yellow all of a sudden card, you know, eliminates purple and red in the same turn, they did have a card trade and they might break my nine... Oh, they might break my 9 and my 7. Hmm, and this over here as well. Alright, we, yeah, they're gonna hit my 9. Please get bad dice. Fantastic, they got bad dice. Hit my 7. No, you attacked in. There's somebody else in there, probably red. Alright. Uh, maybe magenta or something, I don't know. But that actually, that's not bad. Um, uh, I lost 8 troops, but that's not bad. Not bad at all. So, that kind of makes it for the last turn getting hit here. Bot RNG is doing okay for us. And also, they didn't hit this, so even if they had hit here and broken this or this, we still held that. 21's huge for us. Now, this 21 will attack down to here and hold that. Um, I could put, you know, some of it here to hold that, and we have a... No, I don't need... To, wait, no. Okay, 21 goes here, here. You go here. Yeah. Uh, that'll be fine. So, then we have a two-point hold. Go here. Then we go here. And also, we're kill guarding purple and possibly whoever else they're fighting in there. That's great. Just in case purple has this, I don't want them to... Okay. Yellow's in here. All right. Well, I cannot have yellow in here with me. That's probably going to be pretty bad for us. Don't want yellow in there at all. And do this. Let purple roam around with my troops in there. Yeah, yellow, yeah, good thing I did a little bit of snooping because yellow, ooh, 12 troops for you. Yellow easily could have, uh, snagged kill and purple there and got themselves in a nice strong little position. Now, if they run through to break through this, uh, there's a world where they could break my 18, but they should be low on troops by the time they reach, they had a big stack here. Ooh, that 33 stack, okay, this is gonna be a good play on their part. Um, they're gonna get the, I mean, they could go for the kill and, what are they gonna do here? They really should run through it, that th they don't know I have an 18 stack here, though. They don't have vision, this I don't think. Oh, you underestimated how many you needed. You should have sent the 33 stack. That 33 stack goes through and breaks this, 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 this. They they break every bonus I have. The thing is, they didn't know that. They didn't know how much I had there. So they just they're kind of guessing in the dark. And that's the whole thing about fog of war here. 
And that's the thing about Fog of War. Alright, so you got a kill guard on red, possibly on purple as well. We're kind of getting to the point where both of us have half the board. I need to go invade. Incur it occurs to me this 15 is poorly placed. I could have put it back here. I mean, purple car purple cars. Yeah, the, the 15 should have gone here. Here, here or something. I mean, it's just there for safety. Purple stack three there, so there's a chance that purple's just inside of there. Let purple get a couple more cards before we eliminate them, right? Which they have three cards. Let them get one more card in there, right? Yeah. All right. And next turn, they can get a card there. Fortifying that away could be useful. I mean, they could trap 5v3. There's a world where purple doesn't get a card next turn. They can wait another turn. You guys are still bots, right? Nobody came back? Yeah. All right. Good. I don't know why I clicked you. You're out of the match. I guess they can come back and spectate, right? All right. So... If red card trade in three, that would be nice. I need to go through and break a bunch of yellow stuff right now, because they're about to get a lot of troops. 24 troops, card trade in four. I will do this because those troops are going to be extremely useful to us right now. To devastate uh, this player right here. I'm going to devastate them. I'll fortify some back if I really want to. Right now, I'm actually going to try and get the kill on red, I think. Um, let's only do this over here. Getting red's four cards gives us another card trade. would be good if I can... Squeeze that in. I can find him. Is that you over here? That is you over there. Kill on red is ours. Is great. If I kill purple, it doesn't give me another card trait, so I don't care about it right now. And hmm, there's a roll I can end it all this turn though. Let's do that. Do this over here. Let's go ahead and do some damage over in this world. Let's put like that over there. This goes over into here. Gotta scratch my face. Let's put. I don't like that in there. I'm not sure I can take you out this turn, but I can do some damage. Do some damage. Just kind of guessing how much you have in places. Should be too much over here, I'd imagine. Attack over here. Uh, let's not put too much. Attack here. Here. Oh, three stack there throwing me off. Get it? Nice. Over here. Oh, that's a juicy stack you had hidden back there. Let's hit this. Get purple here. Get their cards. Give me that. And we can fortify the 15 stack back over in front of your 12, I think. It'd be good for us. Fortify this over to here. They could have a card trade on three. I mean, they can break through that 15 regardless. Big old card trade on three. But I've got 61 territories. they got 44 troops. They cannot possibly eliminate this. Even if they don't lose a single troop, they cannot eliminate me this turn because I have more territories than they have troops, let alone the fact that I have 119 troops. Now they can do some damage. Did you bought out? You bought it out because you know it's over. Okay, that's gonna make things a little bit faster and easier for us because all I have to do is card trade and trace the bot's path back, and the bot will do splits like that, and not drop as much. We do guys sit here and watch them. But yeah, as soon as I blast it through yellow, there they bought it out. Okay, and we are absolutely destroying. What a great match for us. Now I just gotta hold our hands and wait for a little bit. There we go. Bot's done. Now let's give me my give me my troops there. Plus 50 is insane. Plus 42 is huge. Give us this, and let's just go through. No need to use a slider here. Go ahead and mess you up and do some damage. Nice clicks. No, I mean, they're not here, but I'll say good game. Well played in spirit to everybody, even though nobody's here. They all bought it out and left. And wait for it. And there it is. You'd love to see it. And I have plenty more videos you can watch too, like this one right here. See you next time. Unless you want to see the ranks. And there it is. See you next time.